Continuing our coverage now on the Delphi murders trial taking place in Carroll County. Reporter Meg Rossler has been in the courtroom all day and joins us with more. A very busy and information filled day here in Carroll County as day six of the Delphi murders trial is officially wrapped up. And I'm going to take you through three of the big key takeaways from what happened in the courtroom today. The first thing being tips and reports. We had two different witnesses testify about how their jobs during the investigation were about, you know, following up on police reports or filing tips with information with anything about Abby and Libby's deaths and we even had a DNR officer speak with Richard Allen just a few days after the girls were killed. Number two being bridge guy, that phrase, that name being brought up again in court. The jury for the first time saw enhanced video of bridge guy, stabilizing the video, zooming the video, and you could noticeably see the jury watching that video and then looking over at Richard Allen to compare the two faces, seeing if they recognize anything from bridge guy and Richard Allen, who was in court. And the last big key takeaway being evidence and photos. The jury saw more than 30 photos taken during the search of Richard Allen's home. Things like knives and box cutters, which witnesses say did not have any connection to Abby and Libby's murders, but the biggest piece of evidence that was presented was the gun found in Richard Allen's house that investigators say match the bullet that was found near the girls' bodies on the day that we're, they were killed. That gun was taken out of a box and physically presented to jurors. They got a very up-close look at the weapon today, and those are some of the three big key takeaways from day six of the Delphi murders trial, and we will continue to cover this as everything continues. But for now, in Delphi, Meg Rossler, 21 Alive News.